In the 90s, Playmates Toys made the deepest line of Star Trek action figures in history. My name's Keith, and I'm a collector working towards owning all 284. I've been a Trek fan for almost 35 years, and most people are sick of me talking about it. But somehow I've convinced my old friend Mike to review them with me on... Look at my Star Trek toys! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a Look at My Star Trek Toys, a little YouTube series where uh, me, I'm Keith, I show my buddy Mike all of my Star Trek toys, specifically, for the most part, my Playmates 4.5-inch action figures, uh, which are very fun to play with. It's an incredibly deep line. We have reviews going back through the end of time. Uh, we also have focused on a lot on custom figures, figures that incredible artists all over the country and all over the world have made filling in the line with missing figures, fixing figures that uh, the Playmates might have screwed up a little bit. Uh, it's an incredible amount of work that we have been able to show uh, here on the show. But today, today we are doing another review of Dazbot Custom Toys playsets built specifically for the Playmates line, the 4.5 inch scale. Uh, they have done some incredible work and you can find all of it for sale on their Etsy shop right oof, there on that QR code. Uh, you can go there and take a look at their entire line of stuff. They've got some sales going on here uh, at the holidays. Uh, so definitely check out their stuff, and we are going to be reviewing a uh, maybe some from the Wrath of Khan, Mike, but we're going to do that a little bit later, because first, uh, Mike, do you have anybody here in this, uh, this holiday season, at least when we're recording this, who knows when you're watching this, uh, is there anybody you're thankful for that you'd like to, uh, show some appreciation to? There, it, there are, Keith. In fact, mm. you know, we, we live in a, a time now where presents are, uh, during the holiday season, are given from an Amazon wish list mm. or are asked for specifically. And there's no better gift than giving something unique and original, like a Dazbot toy playset. But Keith, you could also maybe find a channel that you love and give mm. them a subscription and or find them on the Patreon. And we'd like to thank our patrons for supporting the show fiscally, emotionally, and just helping us produce content. And in this specific case, showcase work from other creators and get it out onto the universe. Brian Kaufman, Casey Clark, Cloud Lover 69, Jason Moe, Andrew Hayes, Jorge Navoa, and the Mysterious. Mysterious. Wharf's Boot Shivs, CRM Productions, Charles Babbage, at Grim underscore Toys, Delusions at Noon, and Eric Wilson. I'm going to say this and I mean it with every fiber of my being. We appreciate you. If you want to join the team, patreon.com slash K and M. Look at yes, my and Star Trek toy. nope, that's not the right button at all. Yeah, we get, now I want you to go back and look at all the times I've run the show. <laughs> <laughs> and Keith gave me shit because I messed up. I mean, it's not it's not so easy. A lot of multitasking. No, no, it's deep. And 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 your Patreon support will not help that at all because you can't no. make us smarter. Because I taught Keith OBS and I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but you can find on there all sorts of bonus material, bonus episodes. We have extra reviews of toys. We do watch alongs of various Star Trek shows. We have a monthly AMA. Uh, where you can ask us anything. We have lots of crazy wide open discussions, which are really fun and just for you. And Keith, we're going to be yes. doing our first Let's Play together as requested from our patrons. Mm. And we're uh, about to record that pretty soon. So that should be a unique something or other. Indeed. All right. So let us talk about what we are going to talk about this week. And that is... First, the... I, I, just to share, because this okay. came up uh, the other day. Um I made a mention in conversation with someone that I am working. In a, I work a few jobs. I'm not. I don't. I have a, a couple of jobs. And someone's like, "Oh, well, what else do you do?" I said, "Oh, I work for a tech company." And I also, and Keith, I said this, this is legit. And I said, and I also uh, w watch my friend play with his toys for money. <laughs> and the reaction was, I realized without context, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not great. Well, hey, look. No, no shame. Like if 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 that if if that is enjoyable for you and your friend, whatever, go to town. Uh, that's not what we do here. No, well, it is literally what we do here. 
It is quite literally what we do here. Yes. Uh, and what we're going to do today is we are going to look at the Star Trek II Reliant Bridge playset. Ooh, okay. From the Wrath of Khan. I realize I don't even have my Khan. I should go get my Khan uh, so that we can uh, we can review this properly. But, you know, that's just not, it's not what happened. So that's, uh, that's what's going on. So we have here from our good friends at Dazbot Toys, the box. Now, mm. I have not looked at this at all, so we're going to put it together, together, uh, like the dum-dums that I am, and take a look at this. Oof. Very excited. Oh, this might be the, the Enterprise Bridge. Hold on. Which one is it? Oh, it's the Enterprise Bridge. Not the Reliant Bridge. What was I thinking? The, the Reliant uh, right. Bridge is available. It is no, they're they're both available mm -hmm. uh, up here. So this is twenty percent off right now. If you click on that QR code as of today, you can get this for seventy six bucks of fine custom work. So Dazbot Toys three uh, D prints all of their all of their uh, play sets, and so they are some of them are smaller like this. They expand all the way to giant play sets that are modular. Oh my god, he has the entire ten forward. Yeah, they've got the entire ten forward. So you can get Guinan's bar and then expand it all the way out and do the entire 10 forward. It is a huge play set. It's cool, huh? Mike is shopping. I've, you know, I've, once again, I have lost Dude, my co-host. The, the, oh man. <laughs> Includes all these accessories compatible with the 22, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Well, let's, we're, I'm back. <laughs> Mike, we shop after the episode. Do you remember how, what order we do this in? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so let's open up the uh, the Enterprise Bridge from the classic Wrath of Khan. Uh, let's see if I can do this. All right. So even this, this is just the railing, right? Just a, you'd think it'd be like a simple railing, but look at the detail work in that. Huh. And the, it, and, and because it's, it's the 3D printed, it almost looks like it has a wood grain, which is really. Yeah, that's cool. Very specific really cool. geometry as well. Light. Yeah, look at that. And you'd think it would be crazy fragile because the, it, we have some really, thin points here, but because it's solid, thick plastic, you know, I wouldn't want to like hammer on a nail with it, but like it's, it's sturdy. You're, you're, you're getting what you pay for, uh, with a more high quality, uh, material there. So let's open this up. We have the chair. Remember to do it on camera, Keith, like a professional, which I am not. And I've, <laughs> now I've got tape around my finger. I can't move. This is not good. Talking, running a show, and opening things with your hands while your uh, while while your partner shops on his phone really does get uh, get complicated. Okay, so Keith just out here reading me for filth. <laughs> wow! Whoa. Whoa! Look at that. Hold on. Let me move my mic so I get this in camera. Look at the detail on that. Wow. That is beautiful on the back too. Wow. Keith, See, are these like the Lombardi trophy where you'll we get to share it? You know what I mean? Like it, it goes from owner to owner every for, for, for a couple weeks. Well, you mean the Stanley Cup. See the, the Lombardi everyone gets one. But the Stanley Do they really you, give you, everybody a Lombardi trophy? They sure do, yeah. I did not know that. No, the Stanley Cup is singular. But uh well, okay, so Mike, next time you win an episode. Uh, and I guess you'll get custody of the of of this for best a bit. of seven, though, of course. Best of seven, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah, you gotta gotta really work for it. Uh, let me see if I can get those those console in focus. Look at the look at the console buttons. See the Playmates line, which were mass That'd produced. Have been a obviously, yeah, that's a sticker. It'd be a sticker. That's exactly right. It would be a sticker and not part of the of the single mold of plastic, you know, and, and again, like I said about the, the Tonga table, this, this is solid. This is, you know, this is not a hollow piece of plastic. Yeah, that looks here. like not like a, 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 the, the budget 3d printer. 
You know what I mean? No. That is a, that's a piece of equipment there. No, but but I'll, but it's also in the design, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Because 100%. the thought put into the seat there, right? That's that's not that texture there is not from the three D printing. That is part of the design mm -hmm. put in there. Like even uh, on the seat, yeah, like you said, not just the lines. Then, like there's a little on the cushion area. Yeah, no, you can literally see the seams in the cushion in the cushion. So it's not just the console. That's really cool, um, and it's. It's heavy. It's thick. Um, it's a it's a real piece of um, you know. It's it's funny. It feels less like a toy and more like a model. Yeah, um, it's kind of like the perfect nexus of those two universes. Right. Well, because it it fits in seamlessly with the Playmates line, which are toys, mm -hmm. but it feels in your hand like a like a much higher quality piece of uh, piece of toy. Or thing, whatever it's it is. It's like throwing a suit on Keith. It really classes up the thing. Sure. It doesn't change its very nature. <laughs> but, but see, does the suit class me up or do I diminish the suit? Well, That's really who yeah. who holds the power. Yeah, we can't get into metaphysics, Keith. <laughs> ah, you've seen me in a suit plenty of times. Ooh, wow. This you're less of a suit guy, more of like a blazer and a shirt and tie guy. Blazer and jeans, that yeah. sort of a thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, whoa. Okay. So whoa. first off, you can't really see that. You can't feel what I'm going to describe the grading. here. Uh, oh, the grading is amazing. But this is heavy. Like this, this is a, I mean, again, it's solid. It's a really, it's, it feels very sturdy. It feels very sort of premium. But let me, I gotta move the camera because I wanna look at it while I'm showing it to you. That grating is, it is, it's open, right? So it's it's open underneath. These are two different molds fit together. Right. Um, but look at this. So was it slotted work. in, glued in, or is it part? Is it? I think it's glued. It's, it, well, it's, it's two pieces that they put together, and I'm assuming glued in. Um, but look at the detail work on the grate there. That's so cool. And it feels, you know, it feels very like industrial and military. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. um, that's really cool. It is cool. And it's like I said, like it's oh yeah. So it it it, it it'll I think it'll come out. Oh, oh yeah, that's, you can see exactly how it's made. So this is a I mean, this is that's hard. That that is a that is a hefty piece of plastic here. Um definitely just a higher grade quality than the regular Playmate stuff and that fits in beautifully. That's that's cool. I I I like that very much. So, this one is very simple to assemble. Right? So we we put on our And I meant if you wanted to go a step further too. Like you could you could then you could paint this, right? Like you could. <clears throat> you could. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you necessarily need to, but you definitely could. No, I'm just saying, like that material lends itself to further customization. Oh, to anything. Should you yeah, 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 yeah. No, if you want to battle damage it, you want to do any of that. Of course, you can. Um, hold on, let me see if I if I did this right. Okay, yes, I did. Yeah. So then, the chair goes in. It it go. It, you know, you can you can rotate it, but it goes in there snug. Like mm -hmm. that's not. It's not loose. That's really snug in there. Then that goes there, and that looks. Look at that. Think about the like the photography opportunities this provides as well. Yeah. Or like a cool yeah. lighting with like a pot light, or like maybe a, a cast light mm -hmm. on the top, like a diffuser, yep. a gel, or something LED. Well, and I I think that's also um, like I mean, run an certainly... LED strip on that on that U curve behind the chair. Yeah, light it from below. <laughs> Yeah, that would be super cool. So let's let's put in uh, let's put in Spock here. Oh, this is from the an, an adaptation of. All right, hold on. You know what I did? I I didn't have my my Kirk from the twenty twenty two line out of uh, out of his box, but I do have a Riker. So if we'll if if we can uh, deal with the anachronism here, you can see Riker in it. Hold on. Let's let's tilt back. Oh, Riker went into a time machine and took command. Look at that. Look That's how rad. cool that is. That's really rad. 
that is, and here we can see, and and see, all right, so you can also see that's a different, that's a different model there. Um, but one of the things I wanted to sort of talk about with this line is the expandability of it all, mm. right? So that they're they're modular. So you can buy, you know, you're talking about um, 10 forward. Well, you don't have to buy all of 10 forward all at once. You can buy it in pieces and expand it out. So if you want to, you know, fly the walls out and just do a diorama from the back, right? Or if you want to complete the whole set, you can, um, in each of these, you can sort of fit together and build out the bridge. Um, yeah, I haven't, and I haven't spoken to Darren, but my assumption is being a, an Etsy seller that if there's some sort of a, a more customized version or something specific you want, my guess is that you could probably message him and and work something out. That's my guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but but it, he obviously they're expanding their line mm -hmm. as they go, and so I'm sure uh, they do an, a next gen ready room. Which looks uh, amazing. Hold on, let me see if I can pull pull mm -hmm. that in so you can see it. I could um, probably pull up the website for being honest here. I'm sure that you could. Well, you, I, I oh, can... you're running the show, so you. I'm running the show. I don't want to blow your computer up. Yeah, well, yeah, right. That'll be. That's right. It, risking the explosion of the computer is like three quarters of what we do here on the <laughs> show. True. So, oops, no, that's not the right one. Is that the right one? No, it's not that one. Not that one either. Well, where did I put it? Mm, hard to say. Oh, my goodness. This is the... Uh, come on, get in there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so they do the whole ready room. Wow. Now, and because, again, it's modular, if you buy the wall pieces from other... You know, you can, you can then put them together. I, I wonder if they would ever consider... Um, breaking it down into even smaller pieces like that. And just like, can I buy three sections of wall from the, uh, you know, from the, from the ready room or, or, you know, if they want to build out some of the, the hallways, <laughs> I'm just throwing them a whole bunch of ideas. <laughs> They've done all this incredible work. Like, Hey, now I want all, I want this and I want yeah, that. If you and get I want me everything. and Keith in a podcast booth with the cans <laughs> and, <laughs> and a cat knocking over yeah. the toys <laughs> live on air. <laughs> That's really uh, cool. That's really great yeah, work. It it real I mean that's that's so cool. And it's it's heavy, it's premium. And I th I think they're they've really cleverly I mean A they built them to be modular so you can build out most of the thing, but they've also built them to work by themselves. Mm -hmm. So like yes, you could you could build out the whole rest of it and build more chairs and build the wall, and build the rest of the bridge, but this looks great all by itself. Uh, up on the bookshelf, which uh, which it's going to. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen with that. Um, yeah, I'm 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 impressed. Like this is this is very high quality high, high quality work that they've done here. Um, Look at my star oh, did it again. Oh, well, hey, did it again. Hey, all right, show's over. Did it again. Well, <laughs> last last week it was the cat. Yeah, it's. This Welcome. week, I can't hit any he of the right He never toys. wants to do anything live. He he hates the idea of doing stuff live, but he doesn't know that we're just doing it live anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> what's the friggin' difference? Uh, it's, it's, it, you're, you're not wrong. Uh -huh. You're not wrong. Um, but uh, none, nonetheless, here we are. So so now we have, we've taken a look at uh, last week and this week. We've looked at the uh, Star Trek II Enterprise Captain's Chair and Quark's uh, Dabo table from Dazbot Custom Toys. Uh, and look, they're another small business, mm -hmm. just like us. You know, this this is not some big conglomeration. Uh, I, I, it's it's a couple of folks doing fine work uh, by themselves, and uh, we should definitely be supporting them. And you can do so. Uh, th there'll be a link below. Um, directly to their Etsy page, or use the use the QR code right above and take a look at all that they do. Um, I'm just looking here. Boy, they've got the. Uh... It's insane. I had to turn, shut my phone off because it's there's some awesome stuff. It's uh, also I think some things are probably spoilering, so I'm trying not to. But man, I uh, I I you're the only person I could buy these for, and I'm not going to do that. So uh, <laughs> I think I probably my wife would kill me if I got them for myself. So. I guess uh -huh. we're just gonna have to wait until Dazbot gets the huge sales bump that we expect. The huge, and the, then uh, the sends us bump. sends us more for marketing purposes. 
<laughs> for marketing purposes. <laughs> so yeah, take a look at look at this one. The original series, Captain's Chair and Console. What? Look at that. How cool is that? You should 3D and- print her some pants. <laughs> no, we actually have a custom coming up which solves that. So, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I I now have a oh god wish list, right? Of course, uh, we need the bridges, we need the D, we need Voyager, we need need to defy it. Uh, ops, Deep Space Nine, uh, which is like a three thousand dollar toy. <laughs> um, yeah, the promenade we're gonna need. Uh, hey. Whether you do it as a business or not, have you 3D hmm. printed play sets? Hey, have you not 3D printed them, but like manifested or built or whittled or I mean, whatever you've whittled. done, we want to see it. If you can't tell, we freaking love this stuff. Send it our way. Hit us up. Look at my Star Trek toys at gmail.com or Keith and Mike Entertainment at gmail.com. Let us know. Send us pics. Get our address to send us stuff. Uh, we'd love to put it on the channel. Uh, no joking seriously we appreciate you guys it's 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 our channel but it's your show uh so let us know we appreciate it the dazbot thanks so much if you want to send more stuff our way please do if not hey if you got a good hopefully you got a good tester here a good teaser hit that qr code uh let them know what you think about the work uh and uh leave some comments down below what you think we appreciate y'all yeah, no, for sure. And uh, thank you to our patrons at patreon.com slash K and M. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you again to Dazbot Toys. We are very excited to show, um, uh, uh, excuse me, undeniably <laughs> excellent work. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've been I've been drinking Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Mystery Flavor. This is Boo Dew. It's, it's Halloween. So it's it's a little stronger, it's a little old now. So uh, the best part is that I'm not going to edit this for another week. So uh, that's probably going to be in the episode. So it's 100% hey. going to be in the next episode. But you're going to have forgotten I did it when you edit it, and then you're going to be happy all over again. That's true. So. Soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, great. <laughs> all right. Well, we will see you back next week with some more amazing custom figures uh, that you have sent my way, and. Uh, yeah, check out our other shows. Keith and Mike watch Deep Space Nine. You can also watch K&M Geekly, uh, where Keith and Mike just sort of talk about stuff. So uh, we will see you back next week. Thank you so much for watching. Till then, this has been... Look at my Star Trek toys!